Hello everybody, it's Caitlin here with Sprinkled Clean Soapery and today I am making a special soap and this is Battlestar Galactica themed and it's just a space soap. So my base is going to, going to be all black, I'm not going to do any crazy swirls or anything. Um, so I'm just going to add that to my soft oils and this is called Black Death by Soapbox Micahs. Um, they're no longer in business, but you could go to Two Girls Micas and get similar quality Micas for a decent price. Just a quick little mixy mix. So I do want this to be pretty black, but I want it to have like almost like a duo chrome thing. But I know it's a cold process soap, so you're not really going to get that in it, but you know. That's pretty black. Okay. And then I'm going to be adding some Forever in Blue Jeans by Soapbox Micas. And it's like a very, very deep navy blue. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't know if you could see that. I like it. And I just wanted this to have a little bit of dimension because you can see some sparkle in soap if it has you know, a bit of a shimmer mica in it. That is really pretty. You see that? Ooh. This one is called Marcasite. Am I saying that right? Probably not. Buy soapbox micas. Don't mind my nails. I'm not wearing gloves. And this is more of like a dark gray. Okie dokie. Now I will add my hot lye solution to my hard oils and butters. And this is the heat transfer method. And like I always do, I did pre-melt my oils a tiny bit to get them going because I do water discount a little bit. So I don't have as much hot lye solution to work with if I used like the full amount of water that I could use. So that's why I pre-melt them a little bit. And I'll bring you guys back once this is melted. Shouldn't it be very long, maybe like two minutes. Now I'm going to add my soft oils here, which contains olive oil and castor oil. And if you're wondering about my hard oils and butters, they consist of lard, um, coconut oil, and mango butter. Can't make a collection with a farm without a little bit of animal fat. That is pretty. And I do want to get this to a somewhat thick trace so that I can lay these planets down pretty easily without them moving. I just hope I made enough uh, soap batter. This is at a thicker trace. Um, I think I'm gonna let it kind of chill for a minute. Oh, and I probably should have added my fragrance. This is, I believe it's pronounced Nagampa. Pre please tell me in the comments how to pronounce that properly. I'm gonna put my fragrance in. I don't know how this behaves in soap. And I've never used this recipe with this fragrance, and I've never used this fragrance, so I guess we will see. It smells good. I used this fragrance in wax melts already, and oh, uh, it smells so good. It's like the better version of, like, um, Dragon's Blood. It has that, like, very incense type of smell. I don't know if you can see that. Very creamy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pour a little bit into the bottom. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Make sure it's all 
and they're good. And then I'm going to lay, I think I'll lay, hmm, I'll lay the big guy at the bottom since he's heavy. And I made these with some, um, what are those, PVC pipe that I got from Home Depot. And I just got the 24 inch, like pre-cut ones. And that's what I went with. And I might need to get in here and move these a little bit. And then I think I'll pour a little bit on this side. And I'll put I'll uh, put this other heavier one, which I love. I cannot wait to cut into these. And then I also used, to do this, I used um, a, uh, these are cake, like, things. You stick into a cake to make it like a three-tier, two-tier cake. I got those from uh, Hobby Lobby. And all I did was I got plastic wrap, plastic wrapped around it, and, uh, yeah. I did plastic wrap around the bottom and then a rubber band. I hope I have enough soap. I really do. And I cut this one in half so that it could kind of lay on its side. Hopefully that's in there good. I do have more planets that I could just fill this bad boy up. I don't know. I feel like I should have made more soap. This bar is going to be pretty short, so what I might do is add, I need like a half inch taller, you know? Let's see, what can I do? What can I do? Oh, I got more planets. So, fill her up with my extra planets. And then I have glitter to put on top too. So I'm kind of hoping that I could get all this done. Okay. And this is called Cake by the Good Glitter and it's biodegradable glitter. So when it goes down your drain, it'll just you know, eventually rinse away. And I figured a space soap needed some fun glitter on top. And this star glitter is actually edible glitter from the bakery section. Wisteria, and it is a mica that's like a duochrome. So let me open this. Oh, yeah, that's the ticket. It's a white and a purple duochrome. All right, so this is the top. Not the prettiest as far as appearance goes for the whole loaf, but hopefully when it's cut into bars, it's not really gonna matter too much, but it will have 
some glitter on top. Okay, so I just cut the end piece off and I'm pretty excited. Let's see. Look at that. <laughs> oh man. They're all going to look pretty much the same. Well, similar because of the placement of everything, but these planets will all have different swirls in them because of how I poured them. And there's the top. I kind of like how the planets kind of stick out of the top, though. Adds a little bit of something different to the top than just having a plain black top. see what this piece looks like I love that one I kind of wanted one to look kind of like earth um, but I think this looks nice I'm glad that I cut this one in half to kind of make it a couple half pieces to stick in the side oh no turned when I was cutting it ah, it looks okay See, they're all kind of different. That one looks different. It's almost all blue there. This is very firm. Oops, scratched it. All right, so I have all of the pieces that I need. I was just doing eight of each. So this one, I'm just going to make slightly skinnier so that I could cut it and have an extra smaller bar. Isn't that nice? Ooh. Alrighty, so this is pretty much it. I will be planing and beveling these once they harden up a bit more, but that is my Battlestar Galactica inspired soap. All right, I will see you in my next video. Bye.